Hi there and welcome to another Mickey's Roundtable Adventure. For this episode, I decided to head over to Disney Springs here at Walt Disney World and check out the new Haunted Mansion movie. I thought it was a little long and I thought it started sooner than it should have. There's some backstory at the beginning that I think they could have cut out completely and uh, added a little mystery to the story as you go along. What I really did like is the basic setup. Uh, a lot of haunted house movies, horror movies, uh, even like murder mysteries. They go out to the house out in the country and the road is up, the telephones are out and they're stuck there and they have to deal with the situation they're in. This, they're not stuck there. They can come and go as they please. But like in the attraction, uh, hitchhiking ghosts will follow you home. So if they leave, when they leave, the ghosts follow them and haunt them wherever they happen to go. So they have to come back to the Haunted Mansion and try and figure out why all these 999 happy haunts are still there and how they can send them on and get rid of the ghosts in the house. So I, I it was a fun movie. Uh, I enjoyed it. So after the movie, I decided I was going to head over to Magic Kingdom and check out the attraction that inspired the movie. Well, the other attraction that inspired the movie. This is the Magic Kingdom version. The storyline is basically the same. It is a classic attraction. Of course, I got, because I saw the movie and the first showing isn't until, I don't remember which uh, time I saw, like 11 or 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. By the time I got to the park, I'm going to head over to the Haunted Mansion. And that's all I was going to do, just the Haunted Mansion. And it started raining and lightning, and it's an indoor attraction. So that's good, except uh, when it's raining and lightning, especially the lightning, all the outdoor stuff shuts down, and then uh, everybody goes to the indoor attractions. So the queue headed out the uh, door of the covered portion of the of the outdoor queue and was out and I didn't I didn't bring an umbrella. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Foolish mortal. So rather than stand out in the rain, I thought, let me go grab something to eat. I head over to the Columbia Harbor House right next door there. And then by the time I was done, the rain was done enough, I headed out and got into the line for the Haunted Mansion. Uh, the queue is a fun queue, like a lot of Disney attractions. Uh, they really add a lot of detail and interactivity to it. Uh, I got to see the riverboat come by. That's always a favorite of mine, the most underrated attraction in all of Walt Disney World. Anyway, there is the interactive elements to it. There's some statues there. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a murder mystery. Each one of the busts represents a different family member that was killed in a different manner. You can go through and you can find, kind of figure out who killed who and how and do the whole thing. And then you go through a little cemetery area, which is always fun. And, and a lot of these, a lot of, maybe all of these stones are references to real people. Imagineers that worked on the project back in the day and throughout, throughout the history of the attraction. So that's always fun. You get into the uh, queue area just outside the entrance to the mansion and they open those doors and you head on in and you end up in the stretching room. The neat part about the stretching room is that there's a practical reason for it to be there or at least at the Disneyland version of the attraction because the show, the, the, the facade of the, of the mansion is inside the railroad tracks at Disneyland and the show building where you go through and you see all the ghosts and you go into the house, that's on the other side of the railroad tracks and they needed to get people across the tracks. So they developed this elevator that sends you down and then you can go underneath the train tracks and you don't even know it's there. They did the same thing at uh, Walt Disney World, but they had no need to go down. I don't think you'd want to go down very far because there's a high water table. It's Florida, it's a swamp. So, but you still get to go into the stretching room uh, and try and find a way out. Of course, there's always my way. You exit that uh, stretching room it's a good way they uh, practical way they funnel everybody down into groups of two and three I think you can fit three to a vehicle ride vehicle the ride vehicles are doom buggies as opposed to doom buggy it's a doom buggy it's a fun story too so the Disneyland version of the attraction which the Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom version is based on was not completed before Walt Disney passed away. There were two competing ideas on what the storyline should be. Should it be scary? Should it be more fun? What should it be? And um, they ended up 
combining those two ideas and it makes for a really fun story. The beginning is more scary. You know, you're in the stretching room and you see a guy hanging himself. There's the long hallway with the cold breeze and the candelabra. And so you just see this, uh, you know, evidence of ghosts here and there. You go through the, the, the library and you the bus, they're, they, they follow you. And there's the shadow of a ghost playing the organ and things like that. It's not until you get to the seance room where they release all the ghosts. All in the spirits, wherever they're at. It's time to respond. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. There's the ballroom and they're all dancing and you got the two guys. That's my favorite part, I think, is the two guys up at the top. There's portraits of them about to do a duel and the ghosts are dueling forever uh, in, in the afterlife. And then up in through the attic and then down into the cemetery. Because all old houses have cemeteries, right? And the, the fantastic song, Grim Grinning Ghost. So right from the midnight street. Start to shriek. Harmonize. Grim Grinning Ghost. Try to socialize. But it's at the end where it really kicks in and where you meet those hitchhiking ghosts. And it is, it's a fun attraction. And for now, uh, that's it for this Mickey's Roundtable adventure. Until next time, uh, we'll see you real soon. And remember... <laughs> Revenge. Be sure to bring your death certificate.